What does a Vulcan sibling relationship mean to you mm -hmm. and to Spock? Oh my goodness. Well, you will find out what our sibling relationship means. It's very complicated, but we do find out pretty quickly what the sort of crux of it all is. And it's quite raw, but it's necessary. And I think that it's a very compelling relationship because it is so complicated. I hope that she can be as complex and flawed as she is and admit her mistakes and try and ramify them and have some more self-worth because I feel like she is a reaction to the culture that she's a part of. Behaves the way she does because that's how she's been told the only way she can function is house mokai, spies, like all that sort of stuff. So I hope that that evolution can be empowering for them. Pike and Burnham early on in the second season forge an, an agreement that we're gonna trust each other because he recognizes the talent very quickly. Like that's a captain in the making, there's no question. He would probably never tell her that, but he really relies upon her for more than just vetting his ideas. She has an incredibly strong moral core, as does Sinequa mm -hmm. Martin Graham. And, you know, I've, I as an actor relied upon Sinequa to help me f get into this world. So it's, it's a great parallel relationship there. Uh, she, she's earned, earned his trust. Uh, the relationship, the, the brother-sister, like the locking horns we did all through season one, the, the, the competitive annoyances that we, that we found in each other, uh, we've overcome that now. And, uh, and this is, a, it's a very emo there are emotional beats that I didn't even see coming. Alex always wanted to shoot anamorphic because he loves how big the frame is and you get so much intimacy with the characters. So that was a conscious choice. I don't know if necessarily people watch the first episode and think it's bigger than the pilot but we'll see. How does uh, Tyler respond to all of this? Is he fully supportive or is there any kind yeah, of- Yeah, I think he's, he's a soldier, so he's, he's, now it's his duty, you know? So he, uh, we were saying it's sort of like Essex and Queen Elizabeth, <laughs> you know, sort of like her little right-hand man now, so it's a nice, it's a nice <laughs> parallel, I like to. Is uh, the command training program everything Tilly wanted it to be? It's so good and it's so scary and it's, <laughs> it's wonderful. She's exactly where she wants to be and she's very grateful to Saru for making that happen. In one of the trailers, we hear Pike mention that he likes to keep fun in the equation here, so can you explain how exactly he's going to infuse Discovery with that sense of fun? I, I think that Pike, just in general, is not afraid of being self-deprecating, and I think it's one of his strengths as a captain. He's not afraid to admit, I have no idea what's happening right now. <laughs> and to say, anybody got a better idea? And best idea wins. That's how he runs his ship, and it's, it's smart. It's he, because he's expanding his brain to the entire bridge, and it makes mm -hmm. for really fun scenes. The whole season is gonna be a little more fun, and I think as much as we loved last season, which we did, and we're all incredibly proud of it, it was a season where we were at war. Even though we were able to have lighter episodes and some lighter characters, you still have that hanging over your head. So it was a conscious decision this season as a whole to make it a little lighter. There is levity because the war is over now. That doesn't mean that everything is easy and the war is over. No, that's not what it means. We, we have a lot of work to do still. But the fun, we'll see what's fun. <laughs> For Burnham. <laughs> it kind of takes a lot. <laughs>